much better when the sun's out. So I'm so excited that it's finally summer and it's hot out because it makes me want to be productive and not waste my day. I have been struggling so much on the outside and inside and I want to talk about mental health and all of that in another video. I feel like the last few weeks I've slowly began to take care of myself better and I really want to get my routine back. I want to feel better about myself and be more productive. To me a glow up isn't just physical, it's mental and inside and I feel like all aspects of my life need a refresh. So I'm actually pretty excited for this video because it is definitely needed. The way that I stay productive is by using a weekly planner. It helps me so much to stay on schedule when I have things written down, especially so I can go through and check things off. I try to be realistic when I plan my weeks. I want it to actually be doable. For me, doing this is such a great way to get excited for the rest of my week, and it makes me feel less overwhelmed, especially when I have a lot going on. The other thing with planning is being realistic. Obviously, not every day is going to be super productive. A lot of my time, especially recently, is about a lot of balance between working and self-care. So I have my schedule for the week. I like to take this and like tape it right here or I'll put it on my fridge or something so I can see. Love that my weekly overview is held by this magnet from the office. Like I feel like that's super fitting. I also have these magnets. These are all from Etsy. I am so obsessed. I love the office. Okay, I decided to do super light blonde. Honestly, I've always wanted to get my hair like pretty light. It's actually crazy, it looks so cute. It's got my hair like completely blonde. It's like darker at the roots so that it grows out nicer. I got a trim, I got my bangs cut, just everything. Holy shit, oh my God. I have a couple plans for my hair this year, so definitely subscribe and you guys will see. I've never had my hair like this before. I'm pretty tired and I'm trying to fix my sleep schedule. So tomorrow I'm planning to wake up early and start my day. Is my coffee station. I have it all cleaned off. I'm obsessed with this setup. It looks so cute, especially this clear like shelf that I use to stack stuff. And then my poster, of course. So I'm gonna start my day by making a cup of coffee at home. I have a problem of going out and buying coffee all the time. So I made this cute station to get myself excited about making coffee at home. It's honestly works. Like I actually enjoy this process every morning. I love having slow mornings. It makes the rest of the day much more high energy especially because my sleep schedule is so much better now I'm waking up at like 8 or 9 tomorrow my goal is to wake up at 7 So I am trying to continue my daily morning walks like the one I did at the beginning of this video. Honestly, I found it really nice going outside in the sun, getting myself moving without forcing myself to go to the gym because I have not been motivated enough. So I feel like this is a perfect start. It's also really cute picking out my outfit for this. So I have on this black tank top, which is really simple. And then these like lavender Lululemon shorts and my regular sneakers. I need to get like better shoes. And then I have this crossbody 
body, which I put my keys and my camera in. But I like it. Like, it's actually super fun. I'm gonna have my headphones on, make the best of my day. And I feel like doing this first thing in the morning before it's too hot and while I still have motivation is the best way. Let's do it. enjoying this smoothie definitely coming back here this is so good the matcha chia pudding not my favorite i love chia pudding and i love matcha so i was like this will be perfect but i think next time i'm just gonna get a smoothie all right i need to start walking back so next i need to clean my apartment it's honestly not too bad like usually everything builds up so fast and it takes me like two days to fully clean everything but i've been doing a good job at like picking stuff up as i go so today's kind of a light cleaning but there's still a lot of stuff i want to clear off my couch wash my blankets on my bed clean the floors put away all my laundry in my closet there is kind of a lot of stuff to do i always feel so much better when my space is clean it actually makes me want to get out of bed and work on stuff so i I feel like a clean space equals a clean mind. And if I wanna start being more productive, I feel like this is a great way to start. blankets to finish washing but my apartment is looking so much better I know it's gonna come out so good once everything's done I always think so much about stuff like I'm such an in my head person whenever I have a problem or like something happens it's like I analyze the situation over and over and over again even if it's like a meaningless encounter with someone I've always just been like that like super overthinker so sometimes I'll find myself like when I'm getting ready or as I was cleaning my room right now I'll start to like have a negative thought or a negative like memory and it'll like circulate in my head over and over i'm thinking about something way too much that like doesn't need to be thought about that much so a trick that i use when i've been thinking about something for so long and i need to like get it out of my head is like i think about it and i take my hand and i like physically remove what I'm thinking about. Like I grab it and I really try to envision myself grabbing the memory or whatever I'm thinking about and taking it and like pulling it out and then I just throw it. It helps. Like if I physically imagine myself removing it from my head, I feel like suddenly, okay, it's out of my head. Don't have to think about it and I can move on to something else. I just need a break sometimes from my head and from certain things like coming up and that is a perfect way of like getting rid of what I need to get rid of. Definitely try it. I feel like it works for a lot of things. A clean room, clean mind. I'm already improving myself. The biggest robot. I got the biggest brown sugar. Okay, and which one did you get? I got the uh, brown sugar milk tea bar. Copied, except look at mine. <laughs> look at the size. <laughs> I'm in my 
bathroom and I'm gonna start doing my nighttime routine. A big part of self-care for me is how I end the night and unwind after a long day. I wanted to start by thanking the sponsor of today's video, which is Tree Hut. I have been so in love with their products since I started using them a couple years ago, especially their exfoliating scrubs. They're such a big part of my shower routine. So they sent me their newest collection, which is the Ocean Glow Scent. I am so excited to try these products. Starting with the sparkling gel wash to help release tension and rejuvenate my skin, and then the sugar scrub to exfoliate and refresh my mind and body. And lastly, out of the shower, I'm using the whipped butter to hydrate my skin and feel renewed and replenished. I can already imagine myself coming back from the beach to get ready for dinner and using all these products to refresh my skin and smell good for the rest of the night. Those are great summer times. So definitely check out Tree Hut's Ocean Glow scent, especially for the summer. I know I'm gonna be using it all the time. You guys can shop Tree Hut at Ulta Beauty. I'll have a link in the description and thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video. I am out of the shower. I'm gonna wash my face and take off my makeup. This is my favorite cleanser for removing my makeup. It actually takes everything off. I'm gonna use these facial pads to make sure everything is off. I'm gonna come back and finish my skincare in a minute. First, I'm gonna wax my eyebrows. I've been doing this for a long time now. I feel like getting your eyebrows done is one of those things you can avoid for your wallet's sake. I used to get my eyebrows done, but I don't remember it being that expensive. I just feel like if it's something I could probably do myself, I might as well just do it myself and save the money. But my eyebrows definitely don't come out as good as if I had a professional do it. But I mean, I'm using this like CVS waxing kit that I've had for so long and I think my eyebrows come out good enough. I literally just cut the waxing strip and then I warm it up even though it says you don't need to. Now I'm gonna go through and just tweeze. I'm gonna finish my skincare this is a cleansing balm. You apply it. It smells like lavender. I applied the last few steps of my skincare routine and now I'm ready for sleep. So I have never talked about this before, but I have a guitar. Look how pretty it is. I got it when I was pretty little and I have no idea how to play. I've never played an instrument before, but if I could choose one, I would probably want to learn how to play guitar or electric guitar. And recently I've had a lot of trouble trying to find a hobby. Working on videos and having a YouTube channel has always been my number one hobby. Art has always been another one, but I feel like with that as my major, I got super burnt out because I had so many deadlines the last four years. So I wanted to find something else to try and I want it to be guitar. My dad got me new strings. Last night was my first time being able to play because I took off my acrylics. So I'm gonna be continuing that today. I saw this quote the other day and it really resonated with me. It was talking about how we have all these interests to do things, but the amount of time it will take to pick that up and be able to do it kind of throws us off a lot of the time. And I think that's what kept me away from playing an instrument because I would see these people that were so good and they were like, oh, I've been playing guitar for 10 years. And I'm like, holy shit, I have no idea how to even hold a guitar. And I'm like, why would I start now if it would take me so long to get good? But I saw this quote and it said, the time will pass anyways. So no matter what you're interested in, whether it's a job or a hobby, and it's like the time it will take to get to a good point in that will pass anyway. So it's like, you might as well just do it starting now because years will go by and you could have just never started or years could go by and you could actually be doing it for years, you know? It honestly like really changed my perspective on stuff. So I don't know, I, th I thought that was kind of cool. So let's do this. That was like 25 minutes. I'm trying to do like 25 30 minutes a day. That's my goal. Ugh, that wore me out. 
Good morning everyone. Right now I'm packing up my stuff because I'm headed to LAX. I'm going to Boston for the first time. I'm so excited. I'm only going for like two days. This brand is having an event there and they invited me to go so they're paying for my flights and hotel and everything and I'm bringing Enzo as my plus one. I'm so excited. I can't believe I'm getting opportunities like this. It is all thanks to you guys. I am literally so grateful. Like it's just insane thinking about where I am right now and the things that I'm getting to do. I appreciate all of you so much. Like I know this stuff would not be possible without you. I never thought in my life I would get to do things like this. So I literally owe it all to you guys. And I think even though this trip is going to be so fast, it's something I really need. Like I want to go somewhere new. I want to get out of the area. I think to the airport I'm going to wear this halter top and then I'm wearing these yoga pants. And right now I have on two different shoes. I don't know if I should wear these or these. I'm going to bring both, but I'm trying to figure out which one's I want to wear to the airport today. I'm just bringing a carry-on. I don't have too much stuff I'm packing. I usually start packing at least a day or two before I have to leave on a trip, but this time I was like, nope, I'm waking up and I'm just gonna pack in the morning. And it actually worked out well. Definitely follow my Instagram if you guys don't. It's just at Jarell. Maybe I'll just wear the Jordans. They're more comfortable anyway. Mm -hmm. 